we're now standing approximately two meters below the, the last stop, the fault that put serpentinite over sandstone and shale. What we're now looking at is a very different looking rock. We see blocks or lenses of one sort of rock, this, say these light gray shades, surrounded by another type of rock, which is darker gray. So we have light gray sandstone surrounded by dark gray shale. When we normally think of rocks, we think of massive rocks or we think of layered ones. But this block in matrix sort of structure is very different. This outcrop gives us some clues as to how this structure originates. But it, is also, it also shows us where some of the controversies about these origins come from. We can sort of imagine that much of this rock mass was once layers of sandstone and shale. But as it was deformed, the sandstone layers were pulled apart so that we were left with lenses of sandstone surrounded by this darker shale. So that process and progression is easy to see here. And it's easy to envision when we think of starting with a layer, a layered rock of sandstone and shale. But here we have green basalt, here too. There isn't any rock unit we know of that's sort of layered sandstone, shale, and basalt. So explaining how these green pieces become mixed into this shale is more difficult. Because of the deformed nature of an outcrop like this, it's easy to see uh, why many have postulated that these basalts were simply faulted in here because we are in an environment where we're along the subduction interface. We have that big subduction fault right up there and we have subduction faulting probably deformed much of this. However, if we look more closely, we see little pebbles of green and all sorts of different rocks in this shale. So another hypothesis is that things like the basalt were mixed in submarine landslides and so these are actually sedimentary deposits that is the basalt surrounded by shale or sandstone and then they were later deformed but this is an ongoing controversy about the origins of block and matrix rocks such as this. And the controversy being how these blocks came to be mixed into this matrix. Was it by faulting? Was it by submarine landsliding? Or perhaps a combination of both?